Breaking news. Lawa slams Buhari over 3.5 trillion fuel subsidy requests. Hello, my wonderful people. That is the Senate president who Munda Buhari, you know, is rubber stamp. Okay, because they are largely being controlled by President Muhammad Buhari, in case you are not aware. Buhari controls the Senate. And that's why I was very shocked and surprised that for the first time, they ever said no with regards to the uh, uh, amended, um, you know, electoral bill. That is to tell you that that thing did not come from Buhari. It came from Malami, who apparently is the ruler of the country. Okay, these are the people who are ruling Nigeria and determining and calling, show, calling the shot on what happens. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Lawa slams Buhari over 3.5 trillion fuel subsidies request. President Muhammad Buhari has asked the chamber to approve an increase in the estimated provision of the 2022 subsidy for the PMS. The Senate President Ahmed Lawa has condemned President Muhammad Buhari's request for an additional $3.5 trillion for fuel subsidy. Lawa argued that the current 250 pump price of premium motor spirit rendered the presidential request ridiculously unacceptable. His condemnation came ahead of Senate approval of additional 3.5 trillion fuel subsidy money as requested by Buhari. Earlier reports had said that the Senate would on Thursday, April the 14, 2022, pass the reverse 2022 fiscal framework before adjourning on Easter break. The hint was given by the Senate president himself after the report of the Committee on the Finances was stepped down for consideration. A statement on Wednesday, April the 13th, 2022, signed by Dr. Ezero Tobua, Special Assistant Press on the Senate President, said, among other requests, Buhari has asked the Chamber to approve an increase in the estimated provision of the 2022 subsidy for PMS, also called petrol, by $3.5 trillion from four for 1.7 billion to 4 trillion the request was contained in a letter dated april the 5th this is rather very unfair this is the same thing the president criticized the APD democratic party for and called them thief that there was no such thing as subsidy yet is the one using the same thing and increasing it again and again if the subsidy people still buy where at Fulham Station at the rate of 250 per litre and also collect subsidy from federal government by marketers. That's double profit and does not make sense. Buhari's administration has not clearly proved what the subsidy is for. The one thing he same criticized in previous administration, giving electricity to the public is like, a, is like asking for the major, the major, luxury of our time we have not done well for nigerians and that is why we keep pleading that they should give the people the, the all progressive congress another opportunity to remedy and to save the promises we have once made to them the senate president has said now this is the senate president who is saying that they've not done well the senate president himself said no we've not done well buhari's administration has not done well and we are sorry and it's pleading with the people that it should give Nigeria, uh, give them, um, you know, uh, APC another opportunity. And I'm wondering, you know, like patients said, if he cannot pass, not waiting, he go, do not go repeat class. Well, the same person who said APC, PDP, Democratic Party, you know, um, People Democratic Party should forgive, uh, you know, People Democratic Party, we are thieves. Okay, that they were thieves. How can they uh, go ahead and be saying there is so fuel subsidy? The same person as we speak, the same person, not a different person, the same person can no longer, you know, uphold what he once said. You see, to criticize is very easy. To criticize, oh, it's so, so easy. It's so, so easy. You cannot begin to wonder, you know, what, what goes on in the corridors of criticism. But when it comes to you rising up to the occasion, you know, you'll be surprised. 
okay you'll be surprised what exactly you know it's going on so this is exactly what is happening right now and nigerians can see for themselves that the truth of the matter is these people are not truly you know the the when you say remorse they have no such thing as remorse they have no love for the country so to say and all they do most especially is you know how their political dynasty can become larger how they can go from being senators to president you know being uh, this to this is just you know rotating again and again they keep rotating themselves in on us and every one of us are silent and that's why my dear once upon a time before they do so many things and we have no knowledge of it but you see the internet today is a global village they can no longer do some of those wickedness and those things they do and they go and uh, they go score free okay well, that's why we must all continue when you hear these things please pass on the message so everybody is aware you know evil continues and thrive in the corridor of you know secrecy when people are not aware of what is going on they can you know take advantage of it but when people are aware when they know that people are aware and that these things you know people are watching it people are, people know what's going on they are careful yeah you, you don't know they are careful they know themselves because uh, remember very recently we reported to you that the U.S. has reported and has released index with regards to um, how Nigeria is. Nigeria is 158 out of 180 countries in the world on corruption. See the position we are, 158 of the nations of the world. That's how corrupt Nigeria is. And they made mention of Buhari's administration that what is going on has never been in the history of Nigeria as a country before. That's what they said. They said it has never been before. In fact, Nigeria, the looting that is going on has never occurred. It has never been this bad. That's what they said. They said it has never been this bad. That Buhari's administration, the looting and the stealing going on is so terrible, they cannot begin to, you know, imagine it. So these are the things that go on. And yet Buhari will tell you that, um, you know, this and that and that. And some people will be supporting. For instance, someone like Gowon, former, um, uh, you know, uh, head of state, the one said uh, Olusha Gobas and George should not, uh, they should not rise up and declare Buhari unfit for office. That uh, they all had their fair share of uh, challenges when they were in office. Guess what? Before he could say Jack Robinson, the boys visited Gowon's village. Gowon could not say anything. He started crying out. Nigeria mocked him. We thought that everybody had their fair share of challenges. And he had to deal with the challenges. So these are things that happen. And that's why Nigeria is the way it is. Leave us a comment. We will love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.